Good afternoon guys, Dark Purple Shadow here and today I'm going to be talking to you about what to do if your system is old and crusty but still runs games. Should you be playing AAA games or is there better things you can do with your time? And I'm going to tell you straight off the bat, if you have no other option but to run these games on your little laptop or little computer that doesn't run them too well, then take my blessing and give it the best shot you have. I had an old i3 in uh, university, an i3 laptop, a Lenovo, very good laptop I must say. For the price I paid and the amount of fun I had on that laptop, I cannot say anything bad about it. It was a dark blue, it was wonderful, it had an i3-2370M and HD graphics, some 530 or god knows what HD graphics it had, but it had HD graphics and it ran everything. I never said it ran it well, but it ran everything. In fact, certain games such as League of Legends, it ran pretty damn well to the point where I played League of Legends stupid amounts of hours on that laptop and I had no regrets. I also initially ran Skyrim for quite a bit, it was probably the only AAA game I played on that laptop and I played it quite a lot. In fact, in my first week of uni, I played Skyrim non-stop, I remember smithing, I remember learning how to use the cheat console thing and it ruined the game for me because I kept spawning in smithing bars and god knows what else. But yeah, Skyrim was one of those games that in some ways was terrible but in some ways was amazing. Vanilla Skyrim had vibes, I will give it that. But if that's the only option you have, then go forth and play those games. But if you're in a position like me where you can afford the big boy items, you can afford them, but you're not in a position where you can upgrade every two years, like a Saudi oil baron, then I've got something for you as well. I've got some advice and that advice is don't play AAA games till you're ready to upgrade. Don't hamper the experience you could possibly have by having it too early. Have some patience, my friend. Have some patience. Think like a Zen monk. Think outside the box. If next year you're going to be upgrading your system from a GTX 750 Ti to a 4070 or a 5070, whenever, whatever comes out next year, then don't shortchange yourself and ruin the experience. Wait. I really wanted to play Black Myth Wukong. I really, really wanted to play on release. I had a GTX 1080, I still have that card. I ran the benchmark, it looked a bit sticky. I could have run the game but it would have been medium settings and I would be struggling for 30 FPS as far as I could remember because I will not compromise and run at 1080p. So what did I say? I said I'll get this game when I upgrade my system and I still haven't got it, which is fine. There's no harm in that. In fact, a lot of the best gamers know that the best time to play a video game is about six to 12 months after release because you have an opportunity of getting sales, all of the bugs are patched out, and usually you know if it's a good game or not. Sometimes playing on release isn't the best experience. Flip side to this, I played Elden Ring on release. It ran pretty well. At the time though, I had a 1080p monitor, so no wonder it ran well, because my GTX 1080 was munching those frames. I got a solid 30 to, no actually more than, I got like 60 frames per second on, on vanilla, vanilla Elden Ring when it first came out. However, I did not get the expansion because unfortunately since that point I have switched to a 1440p monitor and I love this monitor and I can't bear to go back to 1080p. I have been ruined. I'm not one of those 280 hertz guys. I don't really care but when it comes to resolution it makes a difference to my eyeballs. When I see big resolution I get happy especially on a 27 inch monitor you can tell the difference between 1080p and 1440p especially when everybody's phones nowadays are 4k and 1440p themselves so yes i'd say wait don't spend that money wait for the sale save yourself some time and there's one more reason why i suggest doing this when you when you do build your shiny new computer with the, the what is it that ryzen 9800 x3d and your brand new 4070 Ti Super or 5070 Ti Super when it comes out next year. When you build that juicy computer, you want to have things to play. You want to have a backlog of games to get through. You want to take two weeks off work. You want to tell your wife to go on holiday with the kid, never to hear from them for two weeks. And you want to play your games comfortably. You want to enjoy yourself. And to do that, you need to have games to play. So if you've been playing all these games, on frame gen with 28 fps then i'm sorry you can't really enjoy these games when you get your new system you're gonna have to replay them and i don't you know as much as i do like replayability most AAA story based you know one playthrough games i don't really like replaying there's very few games i'd replay even elden ring i, I would replay but i haven't really got around to playing it that much i don't do new game plus and this that, and the other i'd rather play a new game 
Um, but yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of reasons for that. I get a bit confused when you get out of the loop. You you forget all your muscle memory. This that, and the other. So realistically, you want to have these games to play when they come out on your new system. You don't want to get them when they come out brand new. You want to get them. Imagine that the day you get your system is the brand new release date for all of the games you've been waiting for. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't need to get them straight off the bat. Wait for sales. Wait for the Steam Christmas sale. I'm pretty sure Black Myth's going to be like £25. So don't stress yourself. There's always a time. And I have one other point, And that point is there are a lot of things you can do in the meanwhile. A lot of better experiences to be had. For example, Hades. Hades is just a game. It is not just any game though. It is one of the best games of all time. And I've been playing it quite a lot recently. I actually prefer it to Cyberpunk. I play it more. It's more easy to get into in the sense that in lunch break during work, I work from home. I can play like two, two, one and a half runs of Hades. So I really like it for that reason. I can probably do a Cyberpunk mission, but it feels a lot more less enjoyable to play Cyberpunk Punk in bursts. You really want to get through that. So there's a lot of other games you can play, like lower system requirement games. Games that don't require the full hardware provisioning of, of Earth and the Sun and the Moon for you to enjoy. Games like that, fair enough, play them. You can run them at good frames per second. You can enjoy them well. You, you don't need to play the best games and the newest games on your old system. That's really what I'm getting at. Don't stress it. Just play the games, especially if you know you're going to upgrade. There's no need. It's like saying, do you really want to go on a, a 70 mile, 700 mile road trip from I don't know, Cornwall to Edinburgh in your old Nissan from 2013 when you know work's going to give you a brand new S-Class next week. You probably don't. You could probably put off the road trip till you get the new S-Class. That's really what I'm saying. Please subscribe if you like my messages. Dark Purple Shadow. Peace.